To start off this week, we've got the long-awaited Bioshock that's finally made its way to iOS. In the game, you'll start off as a castaway, making your way to an underwater utopia called Rapture that's been torn apart by civil war. Throughout your journey in Rapture, you'll find yourself being constantly hunted down by genetically modified splices and deadly security systems. What's truly great about Bioshock is that the decisions you make along the way will completely change the outcome of the game. So when you have your decisions to make, are you going to exploit the survivors of Rapture or are you going to be the good guy and try to become the saviour? All in all, Bioshock is a thoroughly enjoyable game and despite its high price tag, I'm certain this is a game you'll love playing. All My Tree The Last Dreamer is a brand new challenging 3D puzzle platformer game that has just been released by Crescent Moon Games. In the game, you'll find yourself in a world which is constantly shattering, and after losing everything, you're the only one that can help to restore the world's balance. In order to do this, you'll have to navigate your way through various levels and complete many different challenges to awaken the seedings and the majestic All My Tree that is rumoured to have the power to keep the world in balance. Alone is a game that will send you on an intense survival journey through space, which will certainly test your reflexes to the limit as you try and dodge endless amounts of rocks and comets along the way. As you progress through the game, the speed will gradually increase until you literally won't be able to manoeuvre your spaceship fast enough, and not to mention the super sensitive controls that will make it even more challenging. With there being three unlockable difficulty levels, it's safe to say that you will manage to get hours of action filled gameplay. The Nightmare Cooperative is a strategic adventure game where you'll be in control of a group of comrades that you'll have to help guide through difficult situations. On each level, you'll have to strategically move your characters around the map to try and collect as much gold as you possibly can, whilst avoiding or killing various amounts of monsters along the way. If that isn't challenging enough, you'll also have the ultimate decision to open crates that will give you even more gold, but as a result, will also release more monsters. So do you have what it takes to help all your characters survive this perilous journey? If you've already played the original Tiny Tower, I'm sure you'll be excited to play the brand new Tiny Tower Vegas. Throughout the game, you'll have to build and manage your own hotel and casino, whilst trying to amass a fortune of bucks by betting your chips on various different casino games. Once you've managed to earn enough bucks, you'll be able to customise your tower with impressive themed roofs, elevators, lobbies and much more. Tiny Tower Vegas is one of those unique games where there is always something to do, so I'm sure it won't be long before you get completely addicted. As soon as you play the game, it won't take you long to realise the unique art style and colour scheme which truly gives the effect that the game is being played on an old handheld device. Your aim throughout the game is to fly past doves in order to inspire them to take flight and follow you to the exit. Now I know what you're thinking, but no. It really isn't that simple. You'll also have the added challenge of various different traps, moving walls, speed boost zones, growing walls and much more. What's great about this game is that there is no need to worry about in-app purchases because all the content is available as soon as you buy the game. God Strike 2 is the awesome sequel to the hugely successful God Strike 1 that managed to sell over 1 million copies. In this game, you'll be in control of two very different god characters who both have the same aim, to protect the city from huge waves of villains. In order to do this, you'll have to use lightning bolts that change shape each time, so you'll have to strategically swipe down on the screen in certain locations to try and punish as much villains as possible. As it stands, there are currently 140 levels, with even more being released soon. Not to mention that the game is free to play, so it's definitely worth checking out. Tower Boxing is a great new take on games like Timberman and Fudiyama. The aim of the game is simple, you'll have to tap left and right to tear down the tower walls whilst dodging obstacles like balconies and company signs. Throughout the game you'll collect coins which can be spent on various different characters that are all uniquely different. With the game having such an awesome art style, extremely catchy music and the fact that it can become super addictive, this really is a great game to play.